I'm comparing the MacBook Pro with the M3 Pro chip with 36 gigabytes of memory and one terabyte hard drive with a 12 core CPU and 18 core GPU to a M3 Max chip with 36 gigabytes of memory and a one terabyte hard drive with a 14 core CPU and 30 core GPU. To see the performance differences mostly while editing in Final Cut Pro, I've edited eight complex projects so far, four of which are over one hour long, using up to four camera angles and four audio sources. If you were to buy these directly from Apple, this is the difference in cost. However, if you were to purchase the Max at Best Buy right now, you can get it for $500 cheaper. The first test I did is an export in Final Cut Pro. It's a longer project, and for the sake of the video, I exported it in with the setting of Apple Devices 4K. Uh, the Max was significantly faster. Probably double the speed in export. Uh, both batteries were started at 100%, and you can see here the Pro is at 93%, and the Max is at 85%. Both ended up falling asleep, but when I came back 22 minutes later, the Max had already finished the export and the Pro was only at 49%. The next test, I took a single video file, doing no edits, just dropped it into Final Cut Pro and exported it. At just under 11 minutes, the Max was finished. The Pro was only at 37%. The Max had 79% battery life remaining, and the Pro had 89% battery remaining, but only 37% exported. They both fell asleep again, and the Pro ended up taking 47 minutes to export compared to the 11 minutes of the Max. The next test, I imported some 360 footage to Insta360 Editor and exported it with the Max bitrate of 200. 3840 by 2160 with 0.264. Um, while that was exporting, I also exported another file in Final Cut Pro just to see how or what the difference would be. For the next test, I took Core Melt's locked and loaded stabilizer plugin and ran it on both clips. The next test, I used Final Cut Pro's built in stabilizer. So it's obvious the Max is faster than the Pro, and it should be for the price difference, but I guess there's not really much of a price difference when you can get it cheaper than the Pro right now through Best Buy. Anyway, my next concern was battery life. Was it more important to have a faster computer or a longer battery life? When I think about it logically, the Max battery does drain faster because it has a faster engine. It takes more gas, but it also gets there faster where the Pro takes more time to get there, but seems to conserve gas. I pulled up some music on YouTube, and I let them both play for two hours. Two and a half hours, actually. Both started at 100% battery life. After two and a half hours, they both had the same battery life, which is good. But my next thought is actual editing. The Pro handled just fine through whatever I threw at it, just like the Max did. However, the Max is using more gas during the editing process. Editing is human time consuming, while exporting is computer energy consuming. In my experience, the Pro battery lasts longer while editing. 
than the Max, which is beneficial. However, when it comes to exporting, the Max really shines. But exporting time may not be as important to some. They can just hit export and walk away, and who really cares how long it takes to export unless you are that pressed for time. But at the same time, as cameras keep going in, up in resolution and bit rates, the Max may be a better option if you plan to use it for years to come, like I do. I hate having to upgrade anything and spending the kind of money Apple charges for their products and their customized upgrades. My last computer was a 2015 iMac with 32 gigabytes of RAM, and both these blow it out the water, but I could still accomplish what I needed with the 2015 iMac dealing with the slower speeds. Anyway, that's the comparison. 